Metal, monthly, wow, new metal, yeah, that kind of new metal. Howdy, banger fans! Welcome to another episode of Metal Monthly. The bangers look at what's coming out in new metal that month. Just new metal, the genre. No, I'm just fucking around. You know, April. I wasn't here for the first, but you know, <laughs> nobody likes new metal. Uh, anyways, this is Bangers uh, Monthly look at what's coming out in metal releases. This is April 2021, which means we have been filming from home. This is the 12th episode I've filmed from home, so we're in my pantry. Slash Gundam storage. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, it's been a while. I've run out of places in my house. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for coming out. Uh, you know, we got a YouTube channel. Uh, you're on it. Like, comment, subscribe. We also have a Patreon campaign. You can give us a couple bucks, help us make content like this. And, uh, you know, we toss some things back like shout outs. And this uh, month's shout out is by regular best boy branches. Uh, he's shouting out Lawrence motherfucking Wallace uh, with his latest release, Journey Through Time. Uh, we both heard it. It is a shred album. I don't think I've liked a single shred album in my life. And this is the first one. So check that out. Also, as an update on the. Uh, uh, the, the, the previous month's Metal Monthly, if you're wondering how my uh, shameless begging went, it worked. The boys in Demiser sent me this gorgeous print. Look at this bad boy. Thanks, guys. It's going to earn a coveted place in my home for sure. <laughs> Let's get to talking about releases. So up front, we just, you know, if you're new here, we list uh, some of the bigger albums coming out in the month, and then I go into my five underground picks. So April 2nd, the past, I know, sometimes a Friday happens before a Tuesday in the month. Uh, so Wode released uh, Burn In Many Mirrors on 20 Bucks Spin, reviewed it here. Uh, I reviewed it here, I loved it. You can check out that review. Uh, and also, The Boys in Crust, uh, they just released a record and they already released a new record. It's called Stoic uh, on Addicted Label. Uh, it's better th th than the last one. You can hear it for yourself. Uh, it came out uh, on Friday as well. Good job, boys, once again. Jesus, slow down. Um, April 9th, uh, Wheel is releasing Preserved in Time on Cruz del Sur. Uh, April 16th, August Burns Red is releasing the Guardian Sessions EP on Fearless. Uh, Cannibal Corpse, yes, the massive Cannibal Corpse themselves is releasing Violence Unimagined on Metal Blade. Spectral Wound is releasing A Diabolic Thirst on Profound Lore. April 23rd, we've got Bodom After Midnight, the Paint the Sky with Blood EP on Napalm. That's kind of just a collection of the last stuff that uh, Alexi was working on, so that's something to definitely check out. And also crazy, Bongzilla is releasing a record. What? Weed Sconson on Heavy Psych Sounds. Uh, April 30th, we've got Evile releasing Hell Unleashed on Napalm. I don't need to tell you, but Gojira is releasing Fortitude on Roadrunner, and Vride is releasing Wild North West on Season of Mist. That's the big stuff coming out, but what did I come through the underground to find for you? Let's check it out. Let's get to my five picks of the month. And the first one, the one I'm most pumped about is Bewitchers, Cursed Be Thy Kingdom on Century Media Records. It comes out April 16th, and I think it's gonna be a big, big, big release for the year. Uh, so let's have a listen and find out why. <laughs> This blackened speed metal is coming to us from Portland, Oregon, and it's a band I've actually featured before. In May 2019, they were uh, on this very show. And uh, why am I talking about them again? I mean, they're not a small band anymore because they've moved up to Century Media Records and we've already, uh, you know, given them a nice little spotlight uh, because <laughs> this record is so much better than the last one is why. Woo! And the last record wasn't bad. It wasn't even not bad. It was good enough to be featured here as one of the best releases of the month. It's just this one is so much better. It's wild. Uh, I, it's not even that that much has changed. Uh, it's just with bands like this, you hear the first song and you go, okay, well, this band writes bangers. 
Uh, this whole record better be bangers. Uh, how many bangers can you possibly write? And the ratio of bangers here is off the chart. I think every song has an interesting guitar hook, like every single one. No, no, ah, you should have left that on the cutting room floor. Uh, none of that. The rhythm section, totally fun. But the real show stealer here is Matt Linton's evolving vocals. Uh, he is getting to be really great at cramming a lot of words in at a really cool rhythm that adds another cool layer that I think a lot of other bands that try and sound like this are sorely missing. I mean, lock up your doors and watch your back or face the satanic magic attack. You know, he could have just said lock your doors. He could have just said watch your back, face the magic attack, face the satanic attack. It's a lot of words jammed in there and it just it, the rhythm of it when he does it is just about perfect. So big, big, big record. Very excited. I hope everybody loves it. I hope for great things for the guys. All right, now that I've regained composure, let's check out another record. It's Hellslav, Hellslave, I don't know, man. Uh, from the Sulphur Depths on Pulverized Records, it comes out April 23rd. Blast some death metal, baby. So this is death metal out of uh, Italy? Not normally a country I associate with death metal, but hey, happy to cross another one off the list. Uh, we've got a suitably evil cover by uh, now three-time alumni of the show, Juano Castellano, uh, color match logo, no drop shadow, all things that make Blaine smile. And uh, this band apparently started as a uh, mellow death band and then transitioned into the old school death metal you hear now. And I think that transition is uh, worked really well for them actually. That's a good way to start because uh, if you're a little tired of a bunch of bands ripping off Tomb Mold, uh, this is a nice little solve for that wound because it's definitely aggressive, fast, brutal death metal, um, but it uh, has a little bit of that European fun injected in there that you might find is missing from some of those imitators out there. Um, so that's a nice uh, dynamic uh, that's different and unique and fun and on top of that we get cool vocals i'm talking about vocals again in a metal show um yeah uh diego leno uh vocals are really low they're so low that i normally wouldn't like vocals that low um but uh in the lowness there's a good uh, like a good uh reverberation in his throat a good rasp to it and it adds a nice texture that i find is normally lacking for vocals like that so uh hey that's a cool combination of things that don't uh, all normally go together and don't normally go together as well. So sweet, a nice different sounding death metal record. Up next, we've got Steel Bearing Hand with Slay in Hell on Carbonized Records. It came out on April 2nd, but you know, that's still April. I know it's in the past. I know it's already released, but I'm really jazzed on it, so too bad. <laughs> So this is some deafened thrash out of Dallas, Texas, and uh, the album cover, I assume, is Death and Thrash Metal, uh, Battling to the Death. Very cool album cover, very cool. I love it. It's by Vrargarth Doom, uh, and uh, yeah, it's also the story of this record. Death and Thrash just really going at each other's throats. And uh, you know how sometimes you're reading a band's like bio or liner notes after listening to the record, and you go, oh, they have two guitar players? Uh, why? You're just uh, carving up your slice of the pie smaller there, homie. This is not that record. Uh, they make it abundantly clear right off the top. Uh, these boys uh, go, uh, which again, shouldn't be surprising for uh, a Death and Thrash album. Uh, but what should be surprising is that while the album starts with a three minute track, it ends with a 
12 minute closer that's a, like a slow burn and it works as well as the three minute mad dash? What the hell? Also strange, uh, there's bass that we can, uh, again, as we always say at the show, uh, hear and are not mad that we're hearing. Uh, so that's really cool. And the bass is actually by Chris Bonner, who plays guitar in Frozen Soul. And that was a record that you were all going crazy about in the banger comment section. So, hey, probably something you should scope as well. And then you can go crazy about it in the comment section on other videos, uh, just like you did with that one. Good deal? Eh? Eh? Well, we've gone three records without talking about black metal, so let's talk about some black metal. It's Valendusk, Heralds of Strife on Northern Silence Productions. It comes out April 30th. Uh, yeah, you know, you, you, you went a long while without black metal, so here it is. This is atmospheric black metal out of, I'm surprised to say Indonesia, yay! Another another country added to the list. I'm getting in that global metal spirit, that overkill global metal spirit. Overkill global, coming soon, uh, season two. Um, yeah, uh, so this is Indonesian atmospheric black metal with a nice uh, classical cover with some good graphic design to kind of tie everything together. And uh, this is a band that's actually been around for a while. This is their fourth record. And what they do is they take uh, atmospheric black Black metal and they nail the atmospheric black metal sound right at the gates uh you know just nice washed out like a old comfy pair of jeans uh but then they mix in like some neo classical folk stuff in there and it's all understated enough to still go with the whole atmospheric uh relaxing kind of wash over you not kind of coming out of nowhere and being overbearing um and so it blends really well and when you combine that with that nice lush green on the album cover you just really get an atmospheric black metal record that's ushering you into spring and boy am i so excited to see spring here ah canada's cold thus we come to our Palette Cleanse of the Month, a record that's a little less harsh than the stuff I normally jam down your throat. Uh, and this one's a little weirder. Normally this is a spot for, uh, uh, you know, just some heavy metal, some traditional heavy metal. Well, uh, there's no good heavy metal this month. Uh, <laughs> it's a weirder pick. Uh, cow, cow, cow on, cow on, I don't know. Ice Fleet on Artifact Records uh, comes out April 9th. Check it out, be confused. So these guys are Russian, but now in Estonia, uh, sort of post-rock, slightly doom, slightly yeah, prog, I don't know, man, yeah, I'll, I'm just gonna have to explain this one. Uh, the album cover, I don't know who did it, I'm sorry, uh, but it's really nice, it's really subtle, it's really pretty, I enjoy looking at it, uh, you know, feels good. Feels good. I, but anyway, uh, this band, uh, I'm, I'm bringing them to you because you guys actually, uh, you know, took that Mogwai review very well. I saw a bunch of Mogwai fans in the in the uh, comments. So, uh, you know, here's something kind of along those lines. Uh, it's got uh, some nice minimal piano passages and like viola. Uh, and then there's definitely some post-rock that sounds post-rocky. And then occasionally vocals come in and they're like, uh, harsh black metal vocals, but they're like buried like harsh black metal vocals are, so they uh, don't ruin the kind of nice, pretty music that's going on. And it all works together surprisingly well. And I know I've said the word post and black metal in the general sphere of each other, so some of you might be uh, just ready to pop a top, but here's a couple things to know about this band. Uh, they've actually been a band since 2005. 
They're not new hipsters coming in to ruin our black metal. They were a doom folk band originally before they got the posty stuff. And uh, if that's not enough uh, a street cred for you, the uh, <laughs> record comes with a 40-page tabletop RPG they wrote about the topic of the album. And if that's not black metal street cred, I don't know what is. So come for the music. Stay for the tabletop RPG that if you order, you actually get a physical copy of the book. Wild stuff, but you know, real Metal Monthly type stuff. So, hey, those are my records. Thanks for coming out. Uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that. We appreciate it. Patreon campaign, uh, you know.